Today we're going to be talking about the axolotl, pronounced ajolote by modern day Spanish speakers, and which derives its name from the Aztec god Xolotl. In this video, we'll be taking the word back to its Nahuatl origins, the language of the Aztecs, and pronouncing it Axolotl, and Axolome as its plural. The iconic amphibian is one of the few natural links we have back to the ancient Aztecs. For hundreds of years, the Axolotl's natural habitat and the wetlands of Mexico provided it with the environment needed to evolve its regenerative abilities. Native to the ever-shrinking lake system of what is now Mexico City, the Axolotl is only found and Lake Xolchimilco. Due to pollution and the introduction of non-native fish that like to snack on Axolome into Xolchimilco, their population in the wild has plummeted. While it's now a popular aquarium pet, frequent lab rat, and of course, trendy Minecraft character, efforts to reintroduce the Axolot back into its lake home are proving difficult. The loss of this one-of-a-kind habitat would not only erase a link to the Aztecs, but also would result in the loss of the Axolot's native home. Due to drainage of the Aztec-made lake system that houses the Axolot, Xochimilco is now a shadow of its former self. And with ongoing pollution, the Axolot sadly seems unlikely to return to its native home. The Axolot derives its name from the Aztec god Xolot. According to Aztec legend, Xolot was the twin brother of Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god. Xolot got the short end of the cool-looking god stick and was depicted as a dog-headed creature by the Aztecs. Legend has it that after a beef broke out between the two brothers, Xolot fled the god realms rather than be punished by Quetzalcoatl. Xolot changed forms a few times and finally ended up in Xolchimilco as an Axolot. In Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs, Elts means water and Xolot of course refers to the monster god, translating roughly as water monster or water dog. Cherished by the Aztecs, the Axolot inadvertently thrived under them. Like the god it's named after, the Axolot likes to hide in cool waters to elude natural predators, like herons that fly overhead. Prior to the arrival of the Spanish to the Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan in 1519, the Aztec perfected lake system surrounding what is now Mexico City created the ideal environment for the Axolot. Farmer-made chinampas, or beds of mud, used to grow crops on the lakes, established canals that provided the Axolome with the perfect shallow environment they needed to flourish. Eaten by the Aztecs as a delicacy, and used in medicines and ceremonies, the axolotl was a common fixture in Aztec culture. The axolotl is an amphibian, but differs from salamanders in that it stays gilded and lives permanently underwater. It more closely resembles tadpoles with the unusual caveat that it never undergoes metamorphosis. This condition, known as neoteny, means that it retains its dorsal fin, which runs almost the entire length of its body, and its external gills, which protrude from the back of its broad head like feathers. Despite having four legs to walk, the axolot only occasionally rises to the water surface before immediately submerging, preferring to stay at the bottom of the lake. In extremely rare cases, the axolot will undergo metamorphosis and mature. Scientists have discovered that injections of iodine or thyroid hormones can be used to induce metamorphosis in the axolot. A close relative of the tiger salamander, an axolotl can reach lengths of up to a foot. However, its average size is about 6 inches. Usually black or mottled brown in its natural habitat, an axolotl can live up to 15 years feeding on mollusks, worms, insect larvae, and some smaller fish. A docile and popular aquarium pet, captive breeding of the axolotl has resulted in unique colors including white, pink, gold, and more. One rare and unique color is fluorescent green, which makes the axolot glow in the dark. <laughs> These fluorescent green axolome were designed in the lab by injecting them with green fluorescent protein, or GFP. Scientists inject GFP into the axolot to see its extraordinary regenerative abilities at work inside their translucent bodies. Many, many studies have been carried out on the axolot's anatomy, cell biology, genes, and more. So far, it's been found to be a thousand times more resistant to cancer than any other animal. And of course, Axolome can regenerate limbs and even parts of their spines and heads. Regeneration occurs through stem-like cells that repair and reconstruct missing cells, tissues, and eventually body parts. Like other endangered animals, the axolot's habitat has shrunk significantly since the arrival of the Spanish to the continent in the 16th century. Drainage of the Aztec lake system, led by the Spanish, 
kicked off the destruction of the astronauts' habitat, and today, sadly, the lake is plagued by water pollution. As an aside, I want to say that eventually I'll make a video of the amazing Aztec or Mexica lake system. Seriously, it was incredible. The lake system had both fresh and salt water separated by dams. But the intentional drainage by the Spanish would probably make my head explode. Moreover, a native predator in its natural habitat, the ashelot has suffered significantly with the introduction of invasive fish like tilapia and carp into Solchimilco. While it's a popular captive in aquariums worldwide, the ashelot is in danger of extinction in its natural habitat. The National Autonomous University of Mexico, or UNAM, is leading efforts to keep the ashelome in the wild. They've set up five experimental canals in Solchimilco with rocks and plants that keep fish out and pump clean water in to create a safer and cleaner environment for the ashelot. In tracking these wild ashelome, researchers have seen that ashelome are much more active in the wild than in aquariums where they tend to stay still, which makes me feel like this and a lot like this. The good news is that even in captivity, ashelome tend to reproduce in large numbers and they're unlikely to go extinct. Today, the bizarre alien looking creature with a captivating gaze can be found as pets in aquariums worldwide. In popular culture, they've appeared in everything from the Netflix series Bojack Horseman to Minecraft, where the video game creators are highlighting the risk of extinction. Unfortunately, the cutest predator you will ever meet can be found just about everywhere but its native home. Aside from its potential to help unlock the secrets of regeneration, the ashelot is one of the few remaining ties we have back to the Mexica. The loss of the ashelot's one-of-a-kind habitat would not only extinguish the last piece of the Great Mexica Lake Network, but it would also lead to the loss of the ashelot's native habitat. The ashelot and its ecosystem both make up key parts of mestizo culture and identity. Ultimately, the goal should not just be to save the ashelot, but to help preserve and protect our mestizo ecological heritage that allowed it to thrive in the first place.